save the day. Yes, you're probably thinking, what's up with her shoulders? Nah, why am I outside when I could be at home doing the review? Well, I got kicked out of my home because I was being too... Fangirly. Yes, that tends to happen a lot. For a start, I hate my shoulders. No. I'm here to talk about the 50th anniversary episode of Doctor Who. It was the best episode that ever existed in the whole of time and space. All that wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. I'm going to do this review a little bit differently. I'll start with the negatives. Yes, there were some bad points. I gotta be fair. I love the episode. Trust me, there are not many bad points. I wanna get to the good stuff. I wanna hear the good stuff. First bad thing is this plane. If this sonic screwdriver was not broken, then I could do this. Come on plane, where are you? It's broken. <sighs> I know I've said this a lot, but I hate Clara so much. In the trailer, she disappeared. She zapped herself. I thought she would disappear. Her story was not well developed. I mean Rose had a story. Hell, Rose was in this. It's a good and a bad thing. Portal between the time. I mean, you've got a TARDIS. Actually, you've got three. I know these were the main villains of this episode, Zygon, and I haven't watched the classic Doctor Who yet. I didn't like them. Where were the angels? I mean, they had Daleks, Zygons. I'm sure they had others, I just can't remember. But where are the angels? I mean, angels are part of the top five best. Actually, they are number one. They are the best, the best monster. They could have included them into the plot somehow. This vortexy thing. They could have used the angels. Every single character could have been in this episode. What about Sarah Jane? They included a lot of doctors that have already been deceased. But some fans might disagree. They will. Hey. It was a good episode, so shut your mouth. Maybe that's for the 100th anniversary. You could see part of the regeneration. Then it begs the question, who stopped the time war? When he disappeared for the last time, he was going to the planet. Was it Eccleston who actually stopped the time war? <laughs> Maybe I've watched this episode for the first time and a lot of things are still like, what? Getting to the good points now. 98% of the episode was good. The sass between all the doctors, Hurt, Tennant, Smith, ah. Oh. I'm speechless. How Hurt looks old, but is actually a younger doctor and saying, You guys, why are you acting like kids? That was a bad interpretation. The fact that they included all the doctors. They included Hartnell, Hurtley, they're dead. They included them. That's what will truly make this episode legendary. Come on, it's a Doctor Who family. Include everybody. I cannot get my mind around how much history was in this episode. If you wanted to start watching Doctor Who, you could start from this episode because it includes everything. There's not all the companions. Sob, 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 I'll get over it. And even Colin Baker at the end. I actually thought for a minute it was Capaldi. I haven't watched much of the classic Doctor Who episodes. I should get to that. The little things in the episode also made it good. Even some of the things that Clara did. Okay, some of the things that Clara did was okay. How did you, how did you get in? The door was unlocked. Uh, so many good quotes in the episode. That ending was brilliant. All the doctors lined up. I think it was a painting because the whole story revolved around painting. Paintings this, paintings that. Suggest it. The episode is perfect for people who want to start watching Doctor Who. I'll use a quote from the actual episode to summarise the episode, if that makes any sense. Like Doctor Who and I, logic is not in our best interest. But I remember a quote, and this summarises Doctor Who pretty well. One of the characters, one of the minor characters goes, but I was just talking, and Eleven goes, yeah, I'm a time traveller. You'll figure it out. That concludes the review. But if you want to get into Doctor Who, you should. Should be lore. You don't have to start from Rose, even though I. Job here is just to express my Whovianness, and getting kicked out of my house for it breaks my heart. <laughs> no joke. Watch Doctor Who. You don't have to be a fan like me. You don't have to be dressed up wearing this regeneration t-shirt. Give it a go. It's fun. It's sciency. It's got history. It's got everything. I'd say it teaches 
the beauty of life. Think about it. The guy who regenerates goes to planet Earth. It's in Cardiff, which is why this show is doing so well without getting carried away. Happy 50th birthday, Doctor Who. I may never be on your show. I may never be famous. I will always, always, always be a Whovian. I believe by the time I'm 69, which is in exactly 50 years time, it will be the 100th anniversary of Doctor Who will live long and prosper. Sorry. Will last the whole of time and space. Will never end. Who likes endings? Looking forward to in 50 years time sitting right here. Oh, not right here. Probably in my house. Talking about the 100th anniversary. And if science and technology advances increasingly. 200. 300. In a different outfit. Maybe in the cosplay. Maybe the 30th Doctor cosplay. Maybe we've had a past life and we regenerated here and we're going to regenerate to something else. I told you I was a little bit weird. I'm not going anywhere soon and I'm sure you're not either. Keep calm and regenerate. Please, please regenerate. It's my religion. No joke. I say this in the kindest way possible. So I end this in the most Hoovian way possible. For God's sake. Fantastic. Allons-y. Geronimo. Fuckity bye. Sherlock is alive. <laughs> Ooh.